Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, aspects of biochemical engineering. Now uh, I think this is the last part of uh, reactor analysis. Uh, we, 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 we discussed the theoretical portion of the how to how to analyze the reactor analysis. Then we last two lectures I discussed several uh, several numerical problems just to have very clear idea about the reactor analysis. And this is the last. Uh, <clears throat> kind of uh, last uh, lecture and here I shall concentrate on couple of problems and uh, how we can have uh, a better idea on this analysis of the uh, reactor. Um, so, you know that uh, if you look at uh, this uh, again here we will consider now in this lecture I am going to consider all the uh, all, all the different type of reactor batch process batch reactor we will consider we will consider CSTR, we will consider plug flow reactor, we shall show you that in, in case of CSTR and plug flow reactor, if you increase the flow rate, how it is going to affect in the system, how if you increase the uh, concent initial concentration of substrate, how it influence on the process. Though this uh, I, I, shall uh, I, shall, I shall try to discuss. The another thing very uh, another very interesting thing also I, I try to incorporate that uh, if you club this you know CSTR with plug flow reactor how you can do the analysis. So, I hope uh, by this lecture you can have uh, have uh, have very uh, uh, little bit clear cut idea how we can do the reactor analysis. To start with this let me start with the batch process first. Now, if you look at here that that we are planning to operate a batch reactor to convert A to R and this is a liquid reaction the stoichiometry is A to R and the rate of reaction is given in the table. How long must we react in each batch for the concentration to drop from C A is 1.3 mole per liter to 0.3 mole per liter and this is the data that is given. So, if you look uh, uh, this problem is apparently is similar type as I discussed in the last uh, lecture, cl lecture class and uh, let us see how we analyze this problem. Now, what is the what is what do we shall have we are planning to do? We want to reduce the the initial substrate concentration from 1.3 mole per liter to 0.3 mole per liter. And uh, so, this is the T batch uh, that uh, equation that we have already we know. So, uh, so here, here we have, uh, what we have? We have the data of C A and also we have the data of minus R A. So, here we can also find out minus R A that different value we can we can we add different value we can do that. Then you can plot that minus R A versus C A, then if we have this plot, we can calculate this. What is the, how we can find out the time required for the batch process, you can easily calculate. Now, this is how we calculated the data, that is one uh, R A is one R A, uh, 1 by R A, this is this is the whole data that we, we can calculate and uh, then then we put uh, this uh, this is the figure this is uh, uh, this is 1 1 minus r a by c a this uh, if you put now now this is this is uh, this pattern if you, you can see it is a little bit different as compared to the previous pattern previous pattern more or less we have the correlation is like this but here it is like this so you know that here what is happening that here uh, this is 1.3, this point is 
So 1.3 to 0.3, this is 0.3. Then what is the time is required? So, so if you if you calculate the area under this curve, then area under this curve, then then what is coming? This will come around 12.7 minutes. And this will come around this area under this curve will come about 12. Point, this is the 12.7. Uh, minutes so that is a time uh, you, you can you can if you calculate you can find it out so it is it is very easy to do that because you know so only that you have to you have to I, again i am telling you that you don't have to uh, count the number of squares of the centimeter graph paper because this is very laborious that if you want to solve it you have to do it very try to do it very easily you, you have to make a rectangle like this that you know that uh, so you you can consider this is a triangle you can consider this is a rectangle am i right and this is again is a triangle then it is a rectangle now again this you can more or less you can consider as a triangle then you can consider this a rectangle so approximate value because i uh, because uh, graphical method exact value it is very difficult to find out but you can find out the approximate value time required for the batch process Now, uh, for the for the reaction of the first problem, uh, what size of a plug flow reactor would be needed for 80 percent 80 percent conversion of the phase stream of 100 moles of A, A at C A 0 1.5. Now, <coughs> here I want to point out that in my last presentation, I forgot to discuss a similar type of problem on plug flow reactor. I hope uh, it is similar type of problem. So, if you understand that, uh, uh, this also uh, this you can solve it very. That also you can understand very easily. Now here, that uh, what is what is they are saying? Suppose this is the plug flow reactor. That uh, they are saying that this is this is the input. This is the output. Now what is the input that we have here? here uh, flow rate is equal to 1000 moles of A per hour. Am I right? And what is CA0? CA0 equal to 1.5 mole per liter. So, this is the so what size? So, 80 percent conversion. 80 percent conversion means how much uh, so, so substrate that remain? That 20 percent. So, 1.5 into 20 percent that is 0.2 that is equal to 0.3. Then here the C A value will be what? 0.3 mole per liter. Am I right? So, we shall have to find out what size of the plug flow reactor is re required to reduce the substrate concentration 1.5 moles per liter to 0.3 moles per liter and the flow rate is uh, 100, 100 moles of A per. Now, here I want to again one thing I want to point out that F is given in um, moles uh, per hour. Am I right? F is, is given in 100 mole per hour per hour. Am I right? So, if you want to convert it per volume, so what you, you can do? You can divide by 1.5 C A 0 the mole per liter. So, mole mole will cancel. So, you can find out liter per hour. This is you can easily find out the volumetric flow rate. You can calculate like this. Now, <coughs> this is uh, as I as I pointed out that uh, first uh, you have to write what are the things given in the problem that uh, these are the things given C A 0 is uh, 1.5 you see that uh, 1.5 is the C A 0 and x a is the 80 percent conversion is the point uh, 8 and f a 0 this is 1000 moles of a per hour this you can convert per unit. This is very important because, <coughs> because you know that from, from here this uh, is suppose here it is the minute is some you, you tau, tau uh, plug flow reactor you calculate in minutes. So, this uh, flow rate also it should be in minutes otherwise there will be some error in calculations. Now, C A F equal to this is 0.3, this I have already shown you, I do not like to explain further. Now, the equation is that uh, 
equation equation for this is the tau plus four reactor is this is the same as your batch reactor. The integration uh, can be evaluated graphically under the curve C A versus one by R C A C A zero to C A F. Now this is the this is the curve that we have. This is uh, 1.5. This is 1.5. This is 1.5. This point, and this is 0.3. This is 0.3 mole per liter. So area under this curve, I showed you how to calculate, and uh, uh, then you find out uh, tau. Uh, see, uh, uh, you can find out tau plug flow reactor. Once you know tau plug flow reactor, then um, tau plug flow reactor is what? Tau plug flow reactor is equal to what you can write uh, equal to V by F. Am I right? What is the, what is the F? If I have already shown you F, so V equal to tau plug flow reactor into F. So you can find out the volume of the reactor. Now here. In this problem, uh, it has been solved in the similar way, only they have shown that F is 0, F is 0 is equal to what? C A F is 0 into F. Am I right? What is F is 0? Mole of A per unit time. Am I right? So, this is equal to what? Mole of A per unit volume, this is volume per unit time. So, this volume volume will cancel. So, mole so mole of A versus the per unit time. So, this is same. So, it is like this. So, if you if you divide by this, you will get the volume that you know the same thing you will get. So, uh, volume B by F equal to tau plug flow reactor. This is similarly we calculate here and find here that uh, you can you can find that the volume of the reactor is coming plug flow reactor is come 190. 0.97 liters. This is how we can calculate. Oh, this is a here tau plug flow reactor has been calculated. This I forgot to mention. This is 17.18 minutes. So you can easily do the calculations here. Now next problem, uh, next uh, couple of problems are very interesting. That if you if you look at for for the reaction in the first problem, what size of previously we also discussed about the plug flow reactor. Now we are talking about the CSTR. What size of CSTR is needed for 75 per con 5 percent conversion of fish stream containing 100 moles of A per hour? CA is 1.5. So, it is basically like this. This is a continuous um, process. We have to continuous start tank reactor like this. So, here what is happening? This is here it is to 1.2 mole per liter. So, 75 percent conversion. The how much remaining? 1 fourth. 1.2 into 1 fourth is uh, coming around 0.3. So, here is the uh, 0.3 mole per liter. Am I right? So, so in this reaction for for 75 percent conversion and what is the F A? F A value, F A 0 value is equal to 1000 mole A per hour. This is given here. So, you, though you have to find out what volume of the CSTN is required. Now, repeat the first part. The modification is the feed is double. As I mentioned, the heap the feed rate is double because initially it was how, how much? 1000 moles of A per hour. Now, we, if we make it 2000 moles of A per hour, then what will be, uh, then uh, uh, what will happen? That uh, that we shall have to find out. Now, next, pro next problem that C A 0 value was 1.2. Now, if we increase to 2.4, but you know, flow rate uh, the F A 0 is same, then what will happen to this? Uh, uh, particular uh, size of the reactor. So, the different mm, different way we want to solve the problem and try to find out how it affects the process.
Now, in this problem, <laughs> that C A 0 is value is given, F A is given, we only go convert in per minute because it is given per hour and co conversion is 0 0.5. The C A F I have already shown it is 0 0.3 and C A uh, now C A F and so R A R A R A we, we, we can I, uh, minus R A we can uh, uh, 0 0.5. Uh, how we can find out tau C S T R equal to C A 0 minus C A minus R A. Now, in this problem, because if you if you this is the repetition of the previous uh, problem, uh, we have we know we have the we have the figures the C A versus minus R A. So, since uh, our uh, substrate concentration is 0 0.3, so we know at 0 0.3 what is the rate of reaction. This is about 0 0.5. From the table we can find out this is about 0 0.5. Now, now uh, as I as I mentioned tau, as I mentioned tau C S T R is equal to C A zero minus C A minus R A. Am I right? So this is equal to also we can consider C A into X A minus R A. Why? Because X A equal to C A zero minus C A by C A 0. So, I can find this is equal to C they mul multiply by this. So, this is how it has come. So, we can we, we can put this equation 1.2, 0.75, then we can easily find out the volume of the reaction. Once we know the volume, then we know the uh, uh, we can I have already shown you how to calculate the volume volumetric uh, the flow rate, then you can find out the volume of the reactor is 25 liters. The, the, this you can you can solve graphically also that uh, you have already drawn this plot. So, this is 1.2 in the graph for this is 1.2 is there and this is 0.3 is there and this is simple rectangle am I right a length into breadth if you multiply it you will get you do not have to do this numerical analysis simple uh, but through graphical method also you can find out the time required for this as once you require time then you put this value here time value here and this equation you can put it that this value put this in the equation you will find the 25. So, this uh, time uh, this equation here you, you use this equation, but uh, with the in place of using this equation through graphical method also you can find it out. Now, now it is uh, it is seen that uh, uh, that a volume of the reactor is proportional to F A 0. Now, uh, therefore, double the feed rate the volume of the uh, 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 this uh, uh, 50 this is 25 liter into 50 liter. So, how you can uh, how you can justify that uh, how you can uh, um, justify that this is volume of the reactor volume of the reactor you can see this is uh, in this problem this uh, here here you find out the volume of the reactor is proportional to this if you keep other constant then uh, if you make it double the naturally the volume will be double that is in this proportional to this this um, is double then uh, uh, this uh, volume will be if fleet rate is double then volume also will be double that is what we expect Now, next problem that we have if the concentration is double, the initial concentration is the previously it was 1.2, but now we are increased to 2.4, other, other remain constant, this is 0.3 and other things. Then you put this, then conversion efficiency also changes, and then we put this equation, then we find out this uh, the time required in CSTR is 0.4.2 minutes. But uh, say we can we can we can solve this then graphically also. If you if you know this is 2.4 and this is 0.3, so you uh, the, the area of the rectangle you can 
find out and that is also will come at 4.2 minutes. Now, once we find out this time, we can easily calculate the volume of the reactor because uh, this we can easily calculate because because we, the volume of the reactor is equal to tau C H T R F A 0 into C A. So, um, I, I hope I can I can explain that because uh, the tau C H T R is equal to as I mentioned C A 0 minus C A minus R A. Am I right? So, So, here is uh, this is equal to x a into c a 0. So, what is the f a 0? f a 0 equal to c a 0 into f and what is tau c h t r? Tau c h t r equal to v by f. Am I right? So, what I can write that, uh, that here uh, uh, what we can write the volume of c h t r is equal to what and the f into f into tau c s t r am i right now what is f f equal to f a 0 by c a 0 so i can write this is f a 0 by c a 0 into tau c s t r so this is how it has come you know this is how we have written here and we put only we put the value here, we can get the volume of the reactor. So, we can easily calculate the volume of the reactor here. Now, last problem that uh, I am going to discuss, this is also uh, very, uh, very, very interesting. Now, before I go to the problem, let me discuss some, uh, some, uh, some uh, something that uh, I try to explain before also that uh, suppose, we have a plot minus R A versus C A. Am I right? And we have plot like this. Now, uh, suppose I want to, uh, this is the same reaction A to B and here this is C A 0, C A 0 and uh, we can, we can, we can, we can uh, this is let us assume C A this is C A dash, am I right? Now, so you have two pattern, you know, what I wanted this I discussed before also, we have two different patterns. Now, if you have this patterns in this particular reaction, then same type of reactor may not be suitable for, for the system, because one reactor may be suitable for conversion of C A 0 to C A dash and another type of reactor may be suitable for conversion of C A dash to C A. So, so if you consider the C A 0 to C A and our, our what is our target? Our target is if you look at tau C S T R is equal to V by F, am I right? And tau uh, plug flow reactor that also equal to V by F. So, we shall have to find out under what circumstances uh, this is minimum. This is minimum that is only our selection. Now, when C A 0 convert to C A, the area under this curve, this curve, this is equal to tau, tau C S T R, am I right? Tau C S T R. But the area under this curve is tau plug flow reactor. So, obviously, tau C S T R here is much, much less as compared to tau plug flow reactor. So, what is, what is our selection for this time of reaction? our selection goes to tau C S T R, but here it is something reverse. Here you see the when C A dash to C A, then area under this curve, area under this curve will be tau plug flow reactor, but when, when you consider go, go for plug uh, C S T R, this is tau C S T R. So, naturally this is much less as compared to tau C S T R. So, our choice is tau flux flow reactor, if you conversion of C A to C A dash to C A. So, our choice, so if you, if you look that uh, reactor, that our strategy should be like this, that uh, initially this should be C S T R and followed by 
plug flow reactor because this is CSTF, this is plug flow reactor. This is CA0 to CA dash and this is CA. Now, why I told all these things? Because now coming problem that uh, uh, we are also uh, going to deal with similar type of things. Only the thing is that how we can find out that if you operate the CSTR, how we can find out how much where substrate is uh, converted and if you if you followed it by say plug flow reactor, how much substrate will be converted. So, what is the value of uh, C A dash and what is the value of C A that we are going to convert. Okay. So, this is this is like this that in the liquid phase reaction A to B plus C is conducted isothermally. Isothermally means temperature remaining constant at 50 degree centigrade at continuous start tank reactor. The inlet concentration is uh, 8 moles per liter at space time space, uh, 5 minutes. Space time means tau CSTR. Am I right? Tau CSTR is 5 minutes. <coughs> the concentration of the A of uh, the exit stream is uh, 4. The kinetics is given here. So, calculate the k constant. We can do it very easily because tau CSTR is equal to what that I can I can I can I can write C A 0 minus C A minus R A. Am I right? What is C A 0 value? 0 0.8, 0 0.8. This is what is C A? 0.4 and what is uh, tau uh, this is tau CSTR value? 5 minutes. So, we can easily calculate the value of R A. So, that is exactly once you know the R A value, then we know the k the C A value that is for 4 under steady state condition. So, we can easily calculate the value of k. So, it is the, it is the, it is done it can be done very easily that a rate constant we can calculate very easily. Now, next part is that if a plug flow reactor of the same volume is added in series after the existing C S T R what will be the concentration of A at the exit, ex exit of the plug flow reactor? The so, so, here I want to want to state only one thing that since it is connected with the same volume, same flow rate, I can assume now tau CSTR is equal to tau plug flow reactor. So, only we shall have to find out at that particular situation what will be the concentration of the substrate at the exit stream from the plug flow reactor. This is the problem. Now, this is uh, this is what what is given in the problem C A 0 equal to 8 moles per liter and C A is the 4 mole per year, C A 0 is 5 minutes. So, this is the equation that we have. Now, uh, the, the, so if you put this equation, you can easily find out. You can easily find out the uh, value of k. Okay, value of k is uh, the if you assume, but this is fast order reaction, so it is uh, minute inverse. The unit will be minutes inverse. Now, uh, now in the second part of the problem, uh, that you know uh, here we have eight mole per liter. Am I right? Eight mole is, con is converted to four moles. Now, if when you same volume, we use a plug flow reactor we use here, and what will be the C A one value that we shall have to calculate, and what is our equation that we have? Tau plug flow reactor equal to uh, d minus d C A by k into C A. So, we, we, we can easily solve that this is equal to like this L n C A by C A 1. So, this is uh, that as I as I the same volume is used to I can I can assume the tau plug flow reactor equal to tau C S T R. Now, <coughs> the we can write phi equal to 1 by k. Now, if you if you look at th this equation that uh, ln C A, 
uh, what is C A is 4 and C A 1 here we shall have to calculate K value also we have already determined. So, uh, the we if we put all the values here then we can we can calculate the C A value and which is coming around 1 point 1.47 mole per liter. So, therefore, the concentration A at the exit stream of uh, plug flow reactor is 1.47 mole per liter. So, uh, so in this uh, in this lecture, I try to point out uh, uh, that you know that uh, uh, by using uh, uh, the the uh, batch process uh, using the uh, uh, if you run a particular batch process and try to find out the rate constant as the different substrate concentration, how we can find the batch time that you can calculate. And from this uh, same uh, data, we can also calculate that, uh, that uh, what is the uh, time required for the uh, 80 percent conversion, 75 percent conversion or 95 percent conversion in the plug flow reactor. Same type of thing we can do in, in case of CSTR. But, uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, if we wanted to uh, increase the flow rate, uh, what will be effect on the process? Or if we increase the uh, substrate concentration of this uh, 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 initial substrate concentration in the uh, in the continuous process, that how is going to affect the process? So this I, I showed in this problem, and finally, uh, I discussed when. Uh, uh, when CSTR club with uh, plug flow reactor, how you can analyze the process, uh, and uh, so uh, we can we can calculate the substrate concentration in the exit stream, uh, both in the CSTR and the plug flow reactor, uh, very easily provided we we have all the all the information that is available um, in this problem, so that we can determine the uh, the different parameters, different. Uh, uh, parameters and put these values and then we can find out the concentration of the substrate at the existing. So, I hope this you will be you will be having very clear idea for the reactant analysis and I request all of you please uh, put your pen to it, you try to solve in is individual problem by yourself so that we can have uh, have a clear idea on this process. Thank you very much.